right, so I want to show you a practical application of robotic automation in healthcare. Um, what you're looking at is a form that we typically use at our clinic for immigration, people who are trying to get a green card or permanent residency. Typically, immigration service will send them here to be evaluated. And that way, it's, that, that really includes making sure they get a certain number of vaccines if they don't already have them, STD screening and tuberculosis, tuberculosis testing, yeah. Um, so it's a 14 pager, it's kind of a busy deal. It used to be a nightmare because, you know, the person walks in, is a stranger, you have to get all this information about the person and everybody's story is a little bit different, you know, so it was just difficult to manage. It used to take an hour, an hour and a half sometimes, depending on how um, complicated the person was. Enter robotic process automation. When you become proficient at something, you start to study patterns and then you start looking for how you can work better, faster, and you develop systems and processes to deal with things. So what we have done is we have delegated most of the work to a robot now that used to drive us nuts. And the robot does about 90% of the work and we have plenty of time to spend with the patient. Uh, to make them feel comfortable and uh, you just have a better experience so what what we've done is we've um, if i go to that we've given them like a web uh, interface where they can just go and fill in all the information that you know we need from them so we already have that information before they even get here you know uh, so when they give us this they submit it um the robot takes over from there you know it just gets triggered and you know it works so uh if you look at this pdf it's just going to briefly tell you what the robot does before it starts the robot will take the information it gets and fill out this form then it will log into the electronic medical records that we use to manage all our patients and create a profile for the patient and then after it does that it will attach the form that it just filled out, item one, to the new patient's medical records. Then to schedule an appointment for the patient, then to go ahead and prepare the visit note with all the orders that the patient will need uh, so that it's really just a question of handing it to the patient. And the visit that used to take like an hour and a half, sometimes it can take less than 10 minutes uh, because of this development. So what does the robot do? It does it 12 times faster than a human being would and gives you plenty of time to spend with your patient. Okay. So I'm going to press play now, even though what really happens is that when the um, patient makes a submission, the robot is triggered to do all of this, but I'm going to manually um, activate. So when I press play now, um, let me just close all this stuff so I'm not in its way in any way. When I press play now, it's going to basically begin to do all those things I've said. And uh, you don't have to be here to watch this, but this is a demonstration, remember? So uh, it's just something you want to use to see what the robot can do. I want you to see it properly. So let me open it. I want, to see, I want you to see what it's doing. Okay. So it's filling out the form. We all know that in healthcare, this is not real patient information. It's imaginary. Okay, because that's not allowed. Ralph Lauren doesn't live in San Diego, as far as I know. Uh, certainly not on death, death row crescent. Uh, but the robot is, he was the one who filled the form and his mail. He gave us all this information where he was born. So while the robot is doing this, you're outside chatting with Mr. Polo. Say, hey, how, what was it like? 
growing up in uh, Johannesburg and chatting him up and getting to know him, making him feel comfortable. Wow, this is working, you know. Uh, so when it's done with the form, it saves a copy for it to come. Uh, it, it'll come and pick it up later. So at this point, you're taking the patient's vitals, you're getting medical history, you know, without needing to worry about any of this stuff. You know, it's really cool stuff. It used to be a back and forth deal, you know, never really got to spend time with patients. But this is different. It's a different experience. It's quick. It's painless. And uh, all the heavy lifting is done by the robots. And the best part is, um, you know, the patient pretty much has given you everything you need before you get before he gets there or she and. Um, it's just, it's, it's a more um, efficient way to do things. So it's, it's, it's a great example of how, you know, robotic process automation can help you enhance your capacity. Now it takes, maybe the patient comes and takes like 10, 15 minutes to do all of this because you don't have to spend any time doing this. Right. Uh, and so you're free to be very efficient without losing any value. And because of this, you are able to see 10 people, whereas I, I could only accommodate maybe one or at most two in a single day with plenty of notice. You had to have book, you had to have book like a week before or something. So you had to have brought the paper in before the visit. It was just a nightmare. We tried all sorts of things to get it to flow, but it was it was hard. But this is good because patients are very pleased because they don't have to spend a long time. And I, on the other hand, I can see as many as 10 of these on a fully booked schedule from regular patients. I'm talking about regular patients now. So I can see that on top of my regular patients, I can still see 10 of these people without breaking a sweat. And so that's a classic example of how automation has um, enhanced capacity. So at this point, it's making the appointment for the patient. It's creating the appointment for the patient. It's it's created the profile and now it's creating the appointment. After it's done with this, it's going to go ahead and um, open the progress notes and prepare it, prepare the, this, the doctor's note for it, for her. Basically ordering all the tests the, patients, the patient will need. And that's about it. So it took it about 4 minutes and 39 seconds. And uh, I was gonna. I'm gonna show you again the the um, summary of what just happened, so that you can get a good sense of it before I close out this video. So I did all these things twelve times faster than a human being would have been able to do it, and gave the patient and the staff a more robust experience. So this is, this is a great example of how automation can help you increase value. And I want you to think of ways, other ways it can work for you because this is healthcare. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please subscribe and look out for more like this. I'll keep on uh, publishing as many as I can. Okay, uh, have a nice day ahead. Bye.